there was much jubilation inside South Africa's National Assembly ahead of Cyril Ramaphosa's election, but not everyone was celebrating. Order. Opposition party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, tried to disrupt the election for Parliament to be dissolved. They and the in Parliament had failed to hold former Jake Zuma accountable for his alleged corruption and state capture while he was in office. We just want to put it on record, Speaker, that we cannot be part of an illegitimate, illegal process. And Mr. Ramaphosa, things like Lindy Zulu, if you listen to them, you must ask the one who can listen to from illiterates like things like this. Now, before Cyril Ramaphosa was elected, he echoed the words of Nelson Mandela when he said he would lead South Africa as the servant of the people. He thanked the various political parties in Parliament for supporting his election, which he described as a humbling experience, and promised to work towards uniting the various political parties as well as the people of South Africa. I do believe that when one is elected in this type of position, you basically become a servant of the people of South Africa. And I'll seek to execute that task with humility, with faithfulness, and with dignity as well. That is what I will seek to do. Besides reconciling the nation after former President Jacob Zuma's divisive rule, much is also expected of the new president when it comes to turning around the country's economy. He's expected to create much needed jobs to help fight poverty and inequality, issues which will no doubt be high on the agenda when he delivers South Africa's State of the Nation address on Friday. Renadal Calm, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.